Gottlieb William Daimler was born March 17, 1834, as the son of a baker. He was born in the town of Schonderloff near Stuttgart, Württemberg, in what is now Germany. By the age of 13, he had completed six years of primary studies at Leitenschule and became interested in engineering. After completing secondary school in 1848, Daimler had trained as a gunsmith under master gunsmith Hermann Rothel. He graduated in 1852, passing the craft test with a pair of engraved double-barreled pistols. The same year at 18, Daimler decided to take up mechanical engineering, abandoning gunsmith, and left his hometown. Signing up at Stuttgart's School for Advanced Training in the Industrial Arts, Daimler took two years at Stratgert's Polytechnic Institute to hone his skills, gaining in-depth grasp of steam locomotives. He conceived in 1863, he joined the Brudenhaus Rudlingen as inspector and later executive. While there, he met William Maybach. Thanks to Daimler's organizational skills, the factory managed to show a profit but he quit in frustration in 1869, joining Maschinenbühr Gesellschaft Krosru in July. When in 1872, N.A. Otto & Kie reorganized as Gasmutteren Fabrik Dutz, management picked Daimler as factory manager and Daimler joined the company in August, bringing Maybach as chief designer. While Daimler managed to improve production, the weakness in the vertical piston design, coupled to Daimler's stubborn insistence on atmospheric engines, led the company to an impasse. When Daimler was offered the choice of founding a branch in St. Petersburg or resigning, he resigned to set up shop in Kanstadt, where he was shortly joined by Maybach. In 1872, at age 38, Daimler and Maybach moved to work at the world's largest manufacturer of stationary engines at the time the Dutz Edgy Gasmuto Fabrik in Cologne. It was half owned by Nicholas Otto, who was looking for a new technical director. As directors, both Daimler and Otto focused on gas engine development while Maybach was chief designer. In 1876, Otto developed a gaseous fuel compressed charge four-stroke cylinder known as the Otto Cycle. Otto intended that his invention would replace the steam engines predominantly in those years. Meanwhile, serious personal differences arose between Daimler and Otto. Daimler wanted to build small engines that could be applied to transportation, but Otto, no interest in this. When Otto excluded Daimler from his engine patents, there was great animosity between the two. Daimler was fired in 1880, receiving 112,000 gold marks in Dutz AG shares in compensation for patents of both Daimler and Maybach. Maybach resigned later and followed Daimler. In the summer of 1882, Daimler moved to Kanstadt, purchasing a cottage in Kanstadt's Tübenheintrush. Maybach followed in September of that year. In the garden, they added a brick extension to the roomy glass fronted summer house and this became their workshop. In late 1883, Daimler and Maybach patented the first of their engines fueled by Ligroin. Daimler had three engines built to this design early in 1884. Daimler relied on hot tube ignition until 1897 when he adopted the electrical ignition designed by Bosch. Daimler and Maybach assembled a large version of their engine, still relatively compact, but now with a vertical cylinder of 100cc displacement, it was baptized the grandfather clock. In November 1885, Daimler installed a smaller version of this engine in a wooden two-seater frame creating the first internal combustion motorcycle. Independently from each other, Carl Benz and Gottlieb Daimler each produced an automobile in 1886. On March 8, 1886, Daimler and Maybach secretly bought an American model coach. With the grandfather clock engine in the stagecoach, it became the first four-wheeled vehicle to reach 10 miles per hour. Driving by Daimler's desire to use the weapon as many ways as possible, Daimler and Maybach used the engine and other types of transport, including on water, by mounting it in a 15-foot long boat. This was the first motorboat. They also put the engines in streetcars and trolleys, and in the air in Daimler's balloons, usually regarded as the first airship. Engine sales increased, mostly for use in boats, and in June 1887, Daimler bought another property in Sielberg, Kanstadt, built at a built at a cost of 30,200 gold marks, with demand for engines growing, for uses in everything from motorboats to rail cars, Maybach and Daimler expanded, with funding from gunpowder maker Max Dutenhofen, industrialist and banker Kilian von Steiner, and munitions manufacturer 
Wilhelm Lorenz Daimler Motoren Gesellschaft was founded on the 28th of November 1890 with Maybach as chief designer. Its purpose was the construction of small, high-speed engines for use on land, water, and air transport. The three uses were expressed by Daimler in a sketch that made the basis for a logo with a three-pointed star. From 1882 until 1890, Daimler had resisted making his company into an incorporation or stock company. Daimler finally did and hated having incorporated his company. Unable to obtain majority control, he sold out and then resigned. Maybach was denied a seat on the board and left the business. He continued to design his work as a freelance in Kanstadt from his own house with Daimler's support. Moving to the closed Herman Hotel in the autumn of 1892, he used its ballroom and winter garden as workshops employing 12 workers and 5 apprentices. The new company developed a high-speed inline tube Phoenix, for which Maybach invented a spray carburetor. This was fitted in a car which entered production in 1895 after hostilities between Daimler Maybach and the DMG board. Gottlieb Daimler, age 58, had heart problems and suffered a collapse in the winter of 1892-1893. His doctor prescribed a trip to Florence where he met Lena Hartman, a widow of 22 years his junior, who was the owner of the hotel where he was staying. They married on the 8th of July, 1893, honeymooning in Chicago during its World Fair. Returning from the 1893 World Fair at Chicago with his new wife, Daimler had vowed to purchase enough shares of DMG to regain control. The disputes with Lorenz continued. Daimler attempted to buy 102 extra shares to get a majority holding, but was forced out of his post as technical director. The other directors threatened to declare bankruptcy if Daimler didn't sell them all his shares and all his personal patent rights. Daimler accepted the offer, receiving 66,666 gold marks, and resigned in 1893. Daimler and Maybach continued to work together. They built a four-cylinder engine with Maybach spray nozzle carburetor. It was in the first organized automobile race, the Paris du Rhône, and defeated all the entries from DMG. This caused DMG stock to fall. Frederick Sims, a major investor from Britain, insisted that Daimler be brought back into the company. Daimler, now age 60, received 200,000 gold marks in shares plus a 100,000 bonus. Sims received the right to use the name Daimler as his brand name for the engines. In 1895, the year DMG assembled its 1,000th engine, Maybach returned as chief engineer, receiving 30,000 shares. During this period, they agreed to license to build Daimler engines around the world, which included France by Panhard et Leverse and Peugeot, the United States under Daimler Motor Company of Long Island City in a partnership with American and German piano maker American and German piano maker Steinway and Sons, the United Kingdom by Friedrich Sims Daimler Motor Syndicate transferred in 1896 to the Daimler Motor Company and Austria by Austro Daimler. Then Daimler died in 1900 at the age of 65 in Cannstatt, Kingdom of Rottenburg, the German Empire.